All right, hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear. Taylor is going to be joining. So. Logan? Logan says, All right, Logan, come on. Let's go. You're, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're getting your what? He's putting the dino nuggies in the oven. Yeah, I, I got my dino nuggies. I'm going to put them in the oven. That's funny. That's that's awesome. That's the best. How's it going, guys? Uh, by the way, you will actually be able to see both of us if, it, well, well, if you come this way into the TikTok camera, oh. there are two of us. But you can see the full screen if you switch over to uh, Twitch or YouTube. We're on there. But the topic. Oh my God, we're gonna have to silence that. Um, that's the best. I don't even yet. know how to silence that. That so. was great. Um, that's going to be a thing. We're going to have to figure that out. Um, let me see. <laughs> Somebody heard the dino nuggies. <laughs> okay, so James, I guess you could start with your dino nuggies. The dino nuggies. The pan is hot. Way to go. Oh, yeah. There you go. So uh, tonight's topic of conversation is hard lessons learned in business, who not to work for. And uh, today just reinforces... Dear God, don't work for lawyers. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, yeah. That's, okay, so I guess I'll sort of start the yeah. story, and Taylor, you can you can lean over a little bit if you want, but uh, 2019, two years ago, we went out and did a job for this guy, and we found a septic tank, we did an inspection, and he calls back up, and he goes, well, you didn't inspect my second septic tank. And we're like, most houses don't have two septic tanks once we found one. We really weren't looking for another one. And uh, uh, come to find out there was another one. So we built him for another inspection. We went out. We looked at it. Well, sometime between 2019 and now, this guy apparently didn't get a report, lost a report, something like that. And um, doesn't have that re report. Didn't say anything for two years. After two years, he comes out of the woodwork. And today is accusing us of overbilling him two years ago, not giving him a report, wants a full refund, and he let us know that because he's a lawyer, um, if we don't give him this refund immediately, today, by five o'clock, that he's going to sue us. So, um, <laughs> this has been a lesson that we've learned for a long, long time. Don't work for lawyers. Listen, I love my lawyer. I've got three lawyers, but I'm not working for lawyers. Um, I mean, it's just it's just not worth it. Now, somebody asked what what this had to do with Dino Nuggies. It has nothing to do with. <laughs> it has Dino nothing. nothing. Yeah, it's nothing to do with Dino Nuggies. Um, this was the topic of the TikTok before we had Dino Nuggies. Yeah. Uh, apparently there's, there's, there's a really sad story from my childhood, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell it. Go ahead. Um, to, uh, preface Logan over here, whose hand is somewhere on the Twitch screen. Um, he had dino nuggies and I never got to have dino nuggies as a child. As a child, I was given the excuse that dino nuggies weren't as healthy as regular chicken nuggets. Right. So parents never got them. Fast forward, I'm 41, and guess what is my favorite type of chicken nugget? Dino nuggets. Dino nuggies. So when my wife went to the store and got chicken nuggets, and she came home, and I opened up the freezer, well, not home, but to the office, and she opened up the freezer, I saw a box of dino nuggies, and they weren't, they weren't ours. I found out that they were actually Logan's, and so I couldn't eat... I couldn't eat his dino nuggies, but then the whole story started about how I'd never had dino nuggies. What so, I'm hearing is just get good. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Taylor, mm -hmm. what is a group that you you would advise don't work for? Uh, I would highly recommend do not work for a friend of a family member. Uh, they will abuse that to no extent. Oh, my God. Yes. They will uh, pass that off to their friends, saying, oh, yeah, he did whatever work you're going to be doing, 
for this price. So when they call and they're like, hey, I got told y'all do this work for this price. It's like, uh. Yeah. So I to give you an example, uh, my mom has a lifelong friend, lives down here. Uh, super nice lady. I've known her my whole life. But friends like that sort of expect the price hookup. Yep. And they don't really realize that, you know, man, we're... We're running, you know, four hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment out to your place. We're setting up on a job site. We're going to be burning through, you know, hundreds of man hours getting this job done. Like there is no friends and family special whenever there's a twelve person crew on your work site. Like what? No. So, very very cautious if you're opening a business. Please. Please watch the friends and family that you work for. Someone commented saying uh, on TikTok saying, don't work for anyone going through a divorce temporarily insane. <laughs> That's very true. Somebody says they're eating dino nuggies right now. Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's that's great. Oh. Um, and to Sin Tucson, no, Logan did not give us any dino nuggies. But no. I'm going to tell you about our dinner that we made here. <laughs> was it delicious? It was good. Oh, man. So we had mini wagon wheel pastas. Yep. Uh, Newman's own marinara meat sauce. Yep. With with meat in it. or Yeah. Ground beef. Ground beef in it. And then we took chicken nuggets and made a whole cookie sheet of chicken nuggets. Cooked them. Took them out. Covered the and tops mozzarella. in mozzarella cheese. Stuck them back oh, in. Sauce melted and it. Sauce and parm on top. Stuck them back in, so we had little mini chicken nugget parmesan on mini wagon wheels and kind of ate that at the office. Was it? It was, was worth it. It was, it was fucking delicious. To be fair, I haven't made the dino nuggies because the pan is hot. There's another pan. Oh, we it's have hot. two pans? They're hot. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Under the oven to see if there's a third pan? It's slimy. So, uh, uh, old saggy potato is now following on Twitch. <laughs> That's the best <laughs> name That's ever. awesome. Uh, somebody says, if it's friends and family and I bid a 12K job, I'll take $5 off for friends and family. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's great. Perfect. All right. So what else we got in the so comments here? Now they just throw you $1,100 $1, I know someone we didn't like to work for in our, with our previous company. Okay, what is that? The Angie's List people. Oh man, <laughs> let's 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 talk about Angie's List. Oh, okay. They won't take a referral from no. a neighbor. It's got to be a verified referral. We're not going to trust our neighbors. We need complete strangers to verify the referrals. Yep. Then they expect four or five companies to pay Angie's List. For that referral, the referrals aren't free. Angie's List char charges us. Um, and then they all expect an Angie's List yeah. discount. Okay. Like, oh, we got you off Angie's List. And what Angie's kind of List special price? Yeah. yeah. They, don't, they don't read the terms of our special offers. Yes. Um, so always wanting a discount. Impec and... And they will literally hold you at the job site, having you do stuff that wasn't even part of the job. Because if you don't do it, they'll give you a negative review on Angie's List. You could even do a good job. Yeah, and you, they just don't like you. Yeah, you could do a great job, but what what did you do for them because they're an Angie's List member? Like, uh... Don't be those people. Yeah, yeah. don't be those people. Um... I mean, y'all are cool and all, but we really don't want to take your jobs. <laughs> it's like a Sam's Club card. Just because you have one doesn't mean you're special. Yeah, pretty much. Emery David says, I used to work for Angie's List. It's garbage. You know what? Um, I am sure that there are some great Angie's List customers out there. Maybe one in five. Maybe one in five. Yeah. So, Hellborn says, hey, James. <laughs> and then, hey, it's Squig says, screw Angie and your list. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, definitely not a fan of the Angie's list. Oh, see, fucking uh, Turbo Turtle four two twenty two. It's like Yelp's. Yeah, it's just like that. You know, just it, for like contractors. Yes. Um, and Angie's list also bought another company. I forgot what they were called. Uh, uh sir, uh, home service home. Yeah, I yeah, I have no idea. In any event, um. And the thing is, is like we, I, like I have, I have, I have no idea. But last I heard, we had pretty good reviews on those companies. But I don't pay to be a part of them, so 
Um, also, for the record, the Better Business Bureau is a joke. Oh, that's another one. Uh, the Better Business Bureau. People think that's like a government agency. Yeah. It's not. It is a private company that it basically blackmails companies. Um, not really. I mean, like, mm. they try to be fair about it. But, like, people think, oh, the Better Business Bureau is like a division of the government. It's not. No. It's a private company. And here's the deal. If you just, like, like if you're a company and you just pay the Better Business Bureau money and you become a member, then, you know, they reach out, they contact you, they help you resolve disputes and stuff like that. And as long as you're a member, they're more likely to work for you. But if you're not a member, that complaint just goes up. At least that's been my experience. Oh, yeah. So. Wikipedia says they are technically a nonprofit. Okay, so yes, technically a nonprofit. Mm-hmm. Trust me, they charge a lot of money for that membership right there. It charge a lot to not be taking any profit. Hello, oh my god! <laughs> how, um, but my thing is, is like seriously, how many people think that the Better Business Bureau is a government agency? Oh, plenty. I guarantee there's a lot of people think they're government. Enough that it's the first <laughs> sentence of the second paragraph on Wikipedia. Oh wow! Better Business Bureau is not affiliated with any government agency. <clears throat> All right, so um, in any event, what's going on in the comments section? <clears throat> so the comment right here left. <laughs> Joners TV says, I was today years old when I found out about the Better Business Bureau. Um, hope, hopefully you knew that they weren't, um, you know, uh, part of the government. So, Oh, several of y'all asking on TikTok where my content is. Um, I've had several things been very important going on this week and i haven't been able to get on but hopefully starting tomorrow i'll be able to get on more and post more videos that's at least the hope i posted a video yesterday so uh steve r91 says i interview tiktok creators on my podcast i would happily jump on your podcast um (laughs) the number of people that are saying the better business bureau is bullshit that is awesome so uh in any event, here's here's an interesting one. When somebody calls up and orders work from your company, you can take their email address and search that against their Google reviews, and you can see what kind of Google reviews that they leave for people. And you can make the decision to work for them or not to work for them. But th- most of the time, their Google reviews are public. Yep. And you can search for it. So you can know eyes wide open as you walk into that, that man, this is not somebody I want to work for. By the way, everybody on TikTok, we have a widescreen format on Twitch. If you switch over to Twitch or YouTube, you'll be able to see all of us. And if I I scoot a little further over, we could get Logan in here. What's up, Logan? And a lot of the people that you look up, like on the Google reviews and stuff like that, you can also look up what they're representing. So like if y'all get on once, uh, WNC Independent Labs, and you see James made a comment, I made a comment, Logan made a comment. Well, then you just click on that, and it will take you straight to their thing that says, "Oh, they made a comment because they work there." Yeah. Or they own the company, or something yep. to that effect. Um. So somebody says, "Can I ask who's the better cook, Heather or Heather?" I'm gonna uh, go out on a limb and say, "Tall Heather's got to be like the cook that will eat the food the most of." Because little Heather eats some food that that we're not gonna eat. Hello, <laughs> okay, how do we turn that off? I have, yeah, it's the greatest. I love it. <laughs> um, uh, she is fond of food that we don't generally partake in. Hello, okay, I'm gonna. It has to keep going. This is great. Uh, <laughs> but she so loves Ethiopian food. I've never had it. I'd love to try it. Um, but Ooh, I will say. Out. Oh, look Heather. at that. Oh, you broke it. Oh, no, definitely. Uh, I would say that it's probably Tall Heather just because she likes to cook like Italian food. There you go. And I'm That's just... on the fly digital editing right there from somebody who has no idea how to do this. There you go. I saw you, Squigs. I recognize you. Whole gang for life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. That was a that was a rather dangerous question, my friend. <laughs> okay, this is gonna continue. I'm loving this. How 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 do we? Is it the sound alerts? Okay, that is it. Sound alerts or alert box? There you go. Sound alert? Okay. okay, maybe that's it. Maybe that stopped it. Hopefully, 
So we're just going to have to have the comments spam it until we figure it out. So guys, uh, if, if, if you are using that to donate to me, it is not going to work because I am not an affiliate of Twitch yet. I have to get, um, I have to get four a, more days in. I got to get like four more days of streaming, well, four, four more days. hours, and then they have to approve my application. So, uh, that's what's up. Um, it's in the sound alerts. Yeah, and I think we muted the sound alerts. So Hey, Wookie's mom. Hi from Etowa. I love Etowa. There's a there's a pretty Point, good burger place out there. Pointy Tooth says, When is the Discord getting fully set up? And the uh, answer yeah. is, man, yeah. I'm I'm there's there's We're a, thinking about re relocating buildings. It's it's gonna take a minute. So uh Creed Fort says, I mean Ethiopians haven't had a lot of Ethiopian food ever e either. But, but, <laughs> that's great so oh. whenever I was growing up and in school in the 90s we always heard that Ethiopia was starving yeah. that there was a big famine there and all of that stuff and apparently there were parts of Ethiopia that had plenty of food right. apparently it wasn't a food production problem a lot of it was just like it was being hoarded by the rich people right. yeah. like and and I forgot what side it was, but they said something like the north of e or the north side of Ethiopia had a plethora of food. Like the Ethiopians were like fat and happy, and the south side like didn't have it. Right. So again, it was just like distribution. So I saw a comment. Where did it go? Oh, so they uh, they asked if we were if we would choose the horde or the alliance. Horde. The horde. Horde. Definitely. Oh, um, the horde or the alliance. Between what? What have you got? What, what oh, I don't think it's in context. Well, World of Warcraft. I've not played World of Warcraft yet. <gasps> oh, that's right, because you're such a baby. No, I'm Logan's <laughs> the baby. I spend more time on Destiny 2. All right, so Zombie313 says, Septic question. question, how often should the tank be pumped? Every three to five years. However. In this area. Yes. Yeah. In this he, area. Yeah, in this area. And that depends on how you use it. So. Yeah, if you've got eight people on a septic tank, you need to pump it every other year. Yeah. Um, and then we got another one. Uh, somebody says, didn't Ronan get your um, Discord all set up? He did like an introductory kind of, um, like he set up the basics. Uh, so I am definitely going to have to learn a lot more about it and get into it. Um, so somebody said, what's the green screen for? That's the adult content that's coming. Um <laughs> Not really, I swear. I promise. Um, but uh, back to who not to work for. We went and did a job for a lawyer. Once the job was over, he it looked at us and said, I'm sorry, I'm not paying you. Yeah. And I said, why? And he said, because you weren't smart enough to get this written down into a contract, which means I don't have to pay you. And if you have a problem with it, sue me. I'm a lawyer. You'll lose. Like, at that point, what do you do? So... Try to win um, money later. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, I mean, really, it's just gotten really just ingrained in us. Yeah. Like, man, if... Just, you forgot about the crazy lady that was in law school. Do you remember her? Oh, the my God. Lady? Well, someone worked with little Heather years ago. Uh, Wookie's mom. Yeah. Wookie's mom. Wookie's mom. We're going to have to talk to Little Heather and see yeah. if she knows Wookiee's mom. So. I probably don't think that will help her. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it, it depends, Wookiee's mom. How often do you advertise that you're Wookiee's mom? So, uh, Situation Con says, can't you put a lien on a customer's house for non-payment? And I think what you're talking about is like a mechanics yeah. lien. Here's the problem with a mechanics lien. People that don't pay typically will stall you for a little while, and people that don't pay know the rules. And so, depending on what the days are and depending on where you're at, if they stall you for 30 days, you're past the mechanics liens part. And you don't want to be a dick and like put a mechanics lien on day five. Yeah. Because, you know, you're probably not going to get repeat customers. And so it can really, you know, just, it's very difficult to get those mechanics liens and to follow through. And you've got very strict filing deadlines and it costs you money. Uh, so. Uh, just Tim from Pitts yeah. Pittsburgh. So, said you should just put put all that shit back in the yard. Uh, <laughs> you have no idea to, uh, no idea how tempted we have been to do that several times. Oh my god! But that is something that is strongly 
strongly enforced on us not to do. Yeah. And it's a very large fine if we do do it. So this is the deal. Like, uh, a lot of septic companies take payment after they do their work. And sometimes they just just get stiffed by people who, who don't have the money to pay or won't pay. And there's a law or a regulation or whatever that says you can't put that back in the tank. Yeah, you can't put it anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't Other spread than... it on their yard. That would be a spill. Yep. So that just leaves a septic company like holding the bag like, oh, sorry. So very, very tricky spot to be in. That's why we take payment up front. Just, just lessons learned. Yeah. Do... Do I, we do just, wish, I wish we had, like, the uh, the rules that other states have about, like, agricultural use. Well, we do have those rules. There's just not a place here in the mountains because, you know, shit runs downhill. Valid. So. Not enough flat land. Yeah. Like, if you head out to Hendersonville or the middle of the state, Research Triangle Park, I mean, you can you can spread that stuff everywhere. Gotcha. Um, My dino duck is ever middle left. <laughs> Did you set an alarm on one? Yes. Uh... <laughs> Somebody says, what about sitting in the driveway for an hour letting the tank vent gas pressure? <laughs> oh, Lord. That would smell delicious. Um, oh, no, you pop the top on the top of the pump tank uh, when it's about 95 outside and just wait. Oh, yeah, because that smell is coming for you. Uh, but I guess we could probably just turn this into a like business. Who not to work for? Yeah, well, I mean, we've already got the who not to work for. Um, Heather, mm-hmm. you're over there. Is there any other group that we don't work for? I mean, Boiler Masks is, uh, Mark's or, Mark's or is now following on Twitch. Thank you. Appreciate um, it. There are a lot of people we don't work for a second time. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. You've got to make notes in your records oh, of, absolutely. of who, who is, is, is not. And a smart business owner? This is what I try to teach Taylor and Logan in the office is a smart business owner will be able to identify those people on the phone. Sometimes. sometimes yeah. Sometimes not, but some, sometimes you can. Sometimes you could just get like a sixth sense yeah. and, you know, Always. have to, have to uh, tell, tell, tell those people, sorry, we're not interested. Also, landlord tenant disputes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, hey, listen, the, uh, who's. Who's paying for this? Well, the landlord said you were paying. Well, I'm not paying. It's the landlord's it's responsibility. responsibility. Yeah. Right. And then, like, nobody wants to pay you. What do you do? Or, so, who do or, you go after? Or when it's like, I I know for a fact that the this is the water's what's making me sick, but the landlord won't do anything. And Crazy diarrhea lady. Crazy diarrhea lady. Uh, yeah. Yes, we have a customer we call Crazy Diarrhea Lady. That was great. That um, was and hysterical. And the whole idea of this was that she said... That the water was making her sick, and the landlord wouldn't do anything to fix it. They had already gone through what three laboratories, and the water was yeah. fine. That, those were some very fun phone calls, though. Ooh, another one not to work for is if you are on the phone with somebody and they go, "Oh, don't worry, I know what I'm talking about. I read it on Google." Oh yeah, man. Listen, if you got your college degree on Google probably the conversation is going to end pretty quickly. Yeah. So, um, there is, there's, there's this really, uh, interesting slope in knowledge where you'll learn a little bit and believe you're an expert and you're actually dangerous. And then you have to learn like a lot more to actually be an expert. But these people down here really think that they're up here. So please, uh, change my three B tank to a four B tank. Oh, bedroom. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. That is, that's not a tank problem, most likely. That that's is a, a drain field problem. Yep, that's, I think that's what they're saying, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> somebody said, oh, God, Google Masters. That's awesome. Yeah, that's what they think they are. Uh, four stages of learning. Yes, I briefly remember reading something about that. Um, about what? Susan Wilson, yeah, that's, that's, that's the change my three-bedroom to a four-bedroom. Um, can you write off the non-payment on your taxes? This is the thing, guys. Yes, you can write it off. That just means you don't get taxed on it. Um, it's a loss. It goes against your profit, but like you still had to pay the guys to go out there and do that. Um, people think just because you write it off that you get that money back. Yeah, no. You definitely don't. I you, that was my phone for you're, you're minimizing the loss, not eliminating the loss. 
Um, is somebody keeping an eye on the TikTok comments? It fucking was supposed to be. Logan, well, you never told me to. He got Such a liar. I got diamond nuggies. I got diamond uh, nuggies. Uh, somebody says that they're doing picture in picture and YouTube is delayed from TikTok. That's probably YouTube like making sure, running it through like some sensors and making sure that we don't have like dancing strippers and, you know, uh, espousing, you know, crazy anti-COVID stuff. So this is off topic of the video, but somebody asks, the company I used to work for did drain field cleaning. Uh, thoughts on those? Drain field cleaning? Cleaning. I imagine it's like the sand idea. Yeah. They clean the sand, put it back. Well, maybe they need hydrojetting. Or, I mean, yeah, they could jet out the lines. They could vac out the lines. They could change the sand. It could be a bed system that they redid. That's hard work. That's really hard work, and it's expensive. By yeah. the way, to everybody on TikTok, we are also streaming on YouTube and um, and Twitch. So uh, check us out there. It's a, it's a wide screen. You can see all of us probably hear us a little bit better, too. Um, somebody from Montreal, Canada, sir. Hey, Montreal. Six so, um, what question, I guess, like, what, what questions do you guys have? Um, there was a question on TikTok that asked if Trump University's septic program is legit. Probably not. Yeah, no. Probably, probably not. I doubt that even exists. If it is, take the course. You can come work for us. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Although I would be interested in what oh, yeah, the course I says. Same. I want the flyer for that. I think that'd be funny. What? Smoky Bowls, <laughs> 1952. Thank you for your very nice comment. Um, watching on Twitch and on TikTok. <laughs> Somebody says, just moved into the new home with septic. What is the best thing to use to clean the toilet to not harm the system? Anything. Look on the back of the bottle. And it will say septic safe. Don't and use bleach. Yeah, anything with bleach is definitely out. So. Or at uh, least limited, very limited. It's the should, thing. Should, should drain fields be underwater? Probably not. I'm sorry. The, is, huh? is, there, is there a drain field underwater? Give me context. Is yeah. this yeah. like in your pond? Or are yeah, we talking like, like is your yard the flooded? Um, <laughs> like, what are we talking? I need context here. Um, uh, somebody did say, how do you turn down... People you don't want to do business for. <laughs> oh well, um, that's 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 rough. Um, <laughs> basically, you can gaff it off to a couple of things. You can be like, "I'm sorry, I don't have an opening in my schedule for you until Wednesday of next year." Um, that's the fun one. Um, you can say, "I'm sorry, our schedule's full. I'm sorry, we're not taking new customers right now." Um, you can. This is. This this is another one that is just mean. Always have two companies that you can refer to. One company that you don't like and one company that you do like. And when you need to refer a nice customer, send it to the customer to to the company that you do like. And when you have somebody that, dear God, you won't work for them, send them to the company that you don't like. Um, you know, you kind of work on your competition at the same time. But, hey, maybe they can turn it into a great customer. Touch my camera through the fence. Huh? Huh? Okay. Touch, touch my camera through the fence. There's someone on TikTok asking, what advice would you give a 15-year-old who is trying to start a small business? Oh, wow. Stay in school. Uh, yeah. Go to, like, stop, stay in school. Stop, stop trying to start a small business when you're 15. Somebody's going to take it from you. Um, so, uh, JDermy85 says, does Riddick actually work? No. I mean, so like, let's no. let's not get sued by Ridex, okay? But like, have you ever seen it do something? No, I have not visibly seen it actually do anything. One hundred percent of the time, when we hear we don't need to pump our septic system, we use Ridex every month. When we actually dig into the septic system, oh my god, it is yeah. horrible. And the thing is, is if you read the back of the Ridex box, last time I looked at it, it literally says. Use this with regular pumping. So. Uh, you ooh. haven't seen it harm Ooh, I like system. that question. That bottom one? Yeah. Yeah. James, what? You haven't seen it harm a system. Yeah, right. It I've just, never seen it harm yeah, a system. I've never harmed one. No, I just haven't seen it do side. anything good. It doesn't replace pumping. Yeah, it's just kind of a neutral. Yeah. It's kind of like a gray area because I've never seen it do bad, but I've never seen it do good. So, so uh, Sporty Gal 85 says, are there certain interview questions you have for felons that you wouldn't ask a non-felon for a job? And the answer is, yeah. yeah. Like, what, what, what did you go to jail for? <laughs> um, 
you know, long ago, I I hired a guy that went to jail um, for absolutely beating the brakes off of his ex. And I asked him, I said, you know, do I have to worry about you having anger management issues because you, you beat the brakes off of your, you know, ex-girlfriend or whatever? And he said, um, he said, absolutely. He's like, if I see her and she opens her mouth and antagonizes me again, yes, I have an anger management problem. He says, as long as she's not around, my problem is resolved. So, I mean... That's a concerning sentence. Though. Yeah, pretty much. But, I mean, you've just got to find out what these people's triggers are and make sure that you're not going to put them in an environment that's going to stress them out. Angie Westmoreland 7 is now following on Twitch. Thank you uh, very somebody much. Somebody asked, is Taylor on your left or right? It's different between TikTok and Twitch. I am on his right. This is my right hand right here. This is my left hand. There we go. Oh! And when our powers combine. combine. <laughs> <laughs> go uh, planet. I'm so glad you know you're left from your right. Um, so Christopher Cole says, how many employees do we have? We don't really release that number, um, but I can tell you that it's 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 north of fifteen and less than a hundred. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and ch- ch- Doc Walrus says I'm a little li- little bit late, but I'm here. Hey, <laughs> so basically we've been covering who not to work for. Yeah. And the underlying theme, Logan, who do we not work for? People who will cause us problems. There you go. Yes. That was a good summary. I liked it. There's someone on TikTok saying we need a mascot. Named Clog the Bounty Hunter. Ooh. No, we, no, we really don't. <laughs> you have three agreements to this. I'm gonna bring Clog this up. Hunter. I'm bringing this up in the meeting. <laughs> oh no! So, uh, Denzimi says, "How often do you throw up from the smell, or do you just eventually get used to it?" Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you just. I'm uh, okay. So, so let me let me give it to you like this, right? When you met your girlfriend. And y'all went on a date, and she just brushed her teeth, and she had smell good on, and everything else like that. There was no problem, right? And then you married her, and you lay in bed with her every morning, and she has morning breath on you, okay? Morning breath is bad, but did you get used to it from her? Like, are you going to get that morning kiss? Yes, you got used to it, okay? Same thing here. Yeah. You just get used to the smell. Now, I will tell you, there are some houses. Oh, they're that two and a half years later, there's still some woo. lids. I'll pop a lid and I'm like, Ugh. man, I run away. Um, like somebody had some enchiladas that night. Mm-hmm. My God. Ooh. Um, <laughs> million dollar question. Uh, Brian Cook is the old man still alive? Yes, the old man still alive. So Mariah Moritz said, "Did the lawyer get his money back?" So let me tell you, he sent an email today demanding his money by five o'clock today. And sort of, you know, flexing that he was an attorney and that we had to comply or he was going to sue us. And for a lot of small businesses, being sued is like, woo, you know, they're scared of it. We're not, okay? Um, So I just picked up the phone, texted my attorney, forwarded her the email and sent her a text message. I was like, look, handle this for me. The very best advice I can give to any business, the moment somebody says they're going to sue you, Lawyer up. Shut your mouth, move on, let your lawyer deal with it. Because number one, 95 times out of 100, if they're not a lawyer, they're not going to go spend five grand to sue you. Okay? They're not going to take the time. But it is worth your two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500 to send your lawyer after them. Always be the more serious one. Oh, yeah. Like, listen... Somebody some somebody threatens a lawsuit. You're going to come out and do this or I'm going to sue you. Our reps on the phone, the conversation is over. The only thing they give them is a name and phone number to our attorney that handles those issues. Yep. And she is a bulldog. I oh. absolutely love her. Shout out to Amanda. We love you for everything you do for the company. No, Barbara. Oh, and Barbara. Barbara, yeah. Barbara's Amanda, Amanda too. Amanda too. Because so. she's awesome. Amanda watches our TikTok. She does. Uh, so this, this one's just funny. Uh, Smoky Vales or Voles, 1952 said, "What does Logan do in the company, and what does Taylor do in the company?" Uh, That's a good question because Logan, what do you do? I boost morale. <laughs> there you go. Okay. No, that's my job. Okay. Uh, Logan t- takes care of a lot of the water samples, and Taylor is one of the field supervisors over repairs in the field. Um, so when your system is totally just jacked up, it is Taylor's job. To come in and fix it in an expeditious manner. Yep. 
And um, actually, you blew my mind a couple um, couple days ago. I think you guys did a a four thousand dollar repair in four hours. Yeah. That was that was like, oh my god, how did that happen? Um, how were you able to get that done so damn quick? So, and this is something y'all should take with y'all when it comes to a job that it's something you've been doing for a while or it's something you know well. Just okay, cool. You've got I can get it done down pat. Like you do it with your eyes closed. Mm-hmm. After you hit that point, be like, okay, now how fast can I do it with my eyes closed? And still get it absolutely right. And still get it perfect across the board. Because consistently. I every one of them will tell you if I come out to a job site and I see it not done correctly, I'm gonna make you what? You gotta go back. And rip it out and put it back in. So um, somebody says, what's the favorite uh, part of the job? Um, Going home. (laughs) (laughs) Joking. Says the people who are sitting here doing that. Yeah, Uh, yeah, pretty much. Also, Taylor, are you giving out on the time? I am. I am. Taylor has to go pick up his girlfriend from work, so he's going to have to jet out. But I will be back later. Logan, do we have anything on on the TikTok comment side or... Or are you letting TikTok slide again? I'm, I'm looking through some of it. Uh-huh. Did you get your Dino Nuggies? Yeah, I'm eating my Dino Nuggies. He's got three Dino Nuggies on his plate that he has not eaten yet. Okay. I'm over here eyeing them. While he's right. doing that, y'all asked what the favorite part of the job is. I would have to say that my favorite part of the job is at the end of the day when all of my guys, when all the guys come in the office and they say that they got all of the jobs done, they got them, all the reports sent in, all the pictures sent in, and they just had a perfect day. They got a ton of stuff done. And they're happy with it. I'm happy with it. And it basically, everybody just gets to leave in a good mood. Yeah, that's 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 kind of like super kind of in end of the day, no yeah. stress. Yeah. Um, Moonlight, stop. Let's see. I think we've been letting someone on TikTok uh, ask, oh, yeah, oh, "What's the most annoying but common problem?" Uh, people not doing maintenance on their system. The truck um, breaking down. The 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 yeah. the, the truck breaking down. Actually, I threw that piece of paper away, but I totally shouldn't have. We had a Ford F-550 go into the shop with 60,000 miles on it. And they said, oh, your engine is toast. You need a new engine. So they put a brand new engine in it. The whole thing, the whole engine unit. Got it back to us. 5,000 miles later. Oh, your transmission. So now now the truck has 65,000 miles on it. They said, oh, your transmission is toast. Needs a whole new transmission. That truck is in the shop now waiting on a transmission from Ford. Ford has it down as an emergency order. Um, probably because, you know, I'm, I'm being an asshole with Ford on why their brand new truck needs a new engine and a transmission. And um, That's a year old. Yeah. Can, moonlight, moonlight, stop. stop. <laughs> um, <laughs> dog is old and scratching all the time. But, um, and, you know, I totally forgot where I was going with that. But new engine uh, transmission is... Is, is being installed as soon as they get it. And they sent me a freaking letter that said, today, after my truck's been in the shop for a month, they said, hey, we just want to let you know of an important recall that you need to have this software update on your transmission done or it could damage the transmission. And we're like, really? Like, Couldn't have said that to me, like, you know, a couple weeks sooner? Yeah. So. Uh, somebody asked, how do you keep... The separation between bonds and well and septic. Uh, so bell bonds is done at night. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's bell bonds is fun. That's that's the that's adrenaline. The yeah, that's the adrenaline rush. That's the fun. Um, it's done on a very limited basis, um, just for like friends and stuff like that, or contract workout for other bell bonds agencies. But it is just recreation. Um, uh, somebody said, "Can you look at a customer?" And just know that the tank is going to be trash. Yeah. 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 Um, and listen, I'm going to put this on a spectrum for you and you can read between the lines. If you are a vegan, there's nothing in your septic tank. It's it's water, okay? Um, then as your diet progresses forward, vegetarians have very little. Carnivores have a, like a decent amount, but... People that eat way too much, their tanks are trashed. Just absolutely trashed. So, uh, uh, Mystic Exp- 
Bourne says, wow, new engine and transmission, that's nuts. Yeah, on a truck with 60,000 miles on it. So, uh, Somebody said, what are the chances of some somebody's coming out to work for you? Send in your application. Yeah, definitely. Um, Can't work for us if we don't have your resume. So somebody said, uh, Officer 401, which is interesting because uh, I used to watch a guy on YouTube who I think was Officer 401. And that would blow me away if that was that guy. Uh, but he was a cop, I want to say, in like Georgia. And he had a whole YouTube channel. Is Charles here? Yes. Hey, do you remember Officer 401 on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, I've got a guy with his Twitch handle being Officer 401. That'd be cool. That would be <laughs> dope as hell. Moonlight stop. Mm, I'd go look up the actual Twitch page and see, but somehow I doubt it. So it'd be cool, but yeah, definitely. I would, I would probably shit myself if that was actually Officer Four Hundred One. Yes, Officer Four Hundred One is. <laughs> oh, but he's, he's not him. him. Okay. Oh man. Damn. Um. So yeah, they said thoughts on the Biden uh, administration. <clears throat> this is the thing. I try not to get political. Um. I am like. Like, I have political interests, but I really try not to get political. The way I look at it is, despite who um, I voted for, uh, Biden is the president and deserves 100% support um, because we're, we're, we're all on that ship called America, right? And if the captain, you know, goes down, so does the whole ship. So it doesn't matter who you voted for, mm -hmm. you know, hey, better luck next time, whatever, but for right now, just everybody work on, um, you know, su supporting America. So, <laughs> Smokey1952 says, can Charles make an appearance on video just so we know who he is? <laughs> no. <laughs> probably there's, there's probably your, not going to happen. There's your simple answer. Yeah. Yeah. Can we all ask him, Charles? Yes? Your presence has been requested. On the video. Will you make an appearance? So. They would like to see your smiling face. We've already told them that the answer is no. The inquiring minds want to know. I am not technically on camera. What camera? Oh my god. Oh. On top so of, but still. He, <laughs> yeah. he literally put put his hand on the camera and said, I am officially on camera. Yeah, because he was on the You camera. got what you asked for. Charles yeah. was on camera. Uh, so, uh, yep. Christopher Cole said, did, did uh, Jake Barr ever show up to work? No. And no, he did not. But the thing is, is like we're not faulting him for that. No. Like he's got a super busy schedule. So, um, <laughs> angry hey, Canadian Daddy. goose says, "Hey, glitter daddy." Hey. Um, I'm so happy y'all keep that going. That's just so good to me. We call him glitter daddy. Said I thought we were asking to see the good dog. No, the dog is moonlight. Um, besides flushable wipes. Uh, when someone, when something's, pe what's something that people flush that doesn't go away besides flushable wipes? Condoms. Oh yeah. They're there forever. Do we want a story time on condoms? Ooh. Okay. Which so one? <laughs> we, we went out to pump this guy's tank and oh, okay. he's actually a, like a, like a well contractor. Okay. And super nice guy. Very proficient. Like, like this man works, right? And um, we go out and we uncover the tank and we're and and we're sucking out the tank. Mm -hmm. And he comes over and he looks at it and he's like, "That shit." And we're like, "Yes, sir." And he's like, "Man, that's disgusting." He says, "What's that floating right there?" I said, "Sir, that's a condom." He says, "The hell it is." And I was like, "You know, sir, that's that's a condom." There's and then you piped in. You're like, "No, there's four or five yeah, more over really there." Yeah, a couple know? of them in there. And um, like, hey, man, you really don't need to be flushing those. Ain't good for your septic. Yeah, and he's like, "I don't use condoms." And I was like, "Oh, you know, it could be uh, could be like from a past owner." And I he's like, house. "He's like, I built the house." And that's <laughs> at that official moment, I was like, "James, get the truck. We're leaving. <laughs> like right now." I mean, this why. this dude is a big dude, and I was like, "You know, it could be you know from your daughter or something." And he was like, "She's 12. And I was like, oh my God, we're out of here. While we were staying there, he picked up the phone and called his wife. Like, yeah. what? Why? In the truck, in the truck, in the truck, in the Why truck. Why are there condoms in the septic tank? And we're like, leave now. That's leave funny. now. You take one of these, <laughs> stuff it in there, yeah. toss it. Yeah, pretty much. So, a question I want to answer so bad. Uh, Justin Hurley123007 says, what happens when it floods and you have a septic tank? Concrete or plastic? It will float, float straight out of the ground. 
So they don't always. Sometimes Most they stay. Yeah. But um, you know, uh, what is it? Water weighs about eight point something pounds yeah, per gallon. Like uh, solid waste weighs about you know nine point nothing pounds per gallon. It's a little heavier, but man, septic tanks like caskets will absolutely float out of the ground. So, um, man, that is a shitty situation. Uh, we were lecturing on a marine. We were lecturing a marine on not flushing condoms down the toilet, and he was like, "I am married." The guy kept pushing, like, "Dude, where did these come from?" Yes, Bilber, I am speaking from experience. Wow. <laughs> we went to public high school. We know what to do. So, uh, I Healy seventy says, circling back to the guy's corn comment, how does how long does corn last last in the septic tank? <laughs> Forever. Yeah, fucking like seriously. I don't even know why people eat corn. Um, <laughs> That's a special. Delicious. Tastes good. Delicious. My fried corn oh. is pretty good. <laughs> corn on the cob. With Justin the Hurley one two three double oh seven says, "Have you seen one? Has he seen one what? A condom? Several a co- times. I mean, yeah, a couple of times. So what's going on on TikTok? Uh, don't flush wipes down the toilet. Absolutely no, yeah. don't. So. Um, and hygiene products. <laughs> he says, I am Groot 03. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot. <laughs> Somebody heard Charles and said good pun. Oh, oh. just. I just bought a house with a well and septic tank. Any suggestions? Yeah, don't use a pressure washer. Don't wash your car every week. Don't water your yard. Um, Make sure your toilets don't run and pump your septic tank every three to five years. Ooh, here you go. This is actually a good one for you. It says, uh, from... Sporty Gal 185 mm-hmm. says, I have my own business and plan to hire labor workers. What advice do you have for someone who's never hired anyone before? Okay, sorry. I was reading a Jason Barr, but he said he's uh, he is what now? Uh, she, from what I can tell, says, I have my own business and I plan to hire labor workers. While, uh, what advice do you have for someone who... Who's never hired anyone before? And if y'all have seen my video, I was actually a labor worker before I started with him. So, uh, uh, okay, so to answer Justin Hurley, a floating septic tank, yes, and I did a TikTok on it. When it comes to hiring people, um, the best advice I can give is the advice that I don't follow, okay? Um, but slow to hire, quick to fire. Identify people that are not going to work good for you. And get them out of there, okay? And every single time that I have, well, not every time, but most of the time, whenever I'm like, no, I'm sure, but, and I will make excuses for people, it has been to the detriment of my business. It has absolutely been to the detriment of my business. Um, and that's why I put somebody else in charge of firing people. I mean, you're one of them, so... So somebody says, "What's what's what's my favorite ice cream?" And that is cookies and cream. Oh, extreme most tracks all day. Colorado Coin Hunter says Heather's reveal Ooh, probably not no. coming tonight. No. No, my hair. Someone from. Mess. She says her hair is a hot mess. Someone from TikTok is asking. Same. Got a question? Had a new septic field put in about three months ago. Now I smell of sewage at random times. Okay, so yeah, that's not necessarily no. a sign of failure, but your house has. Um, Waste gas venting, okay? And if that's not done correctly, um, you can smell that sewage inside your house. Even if it is done correctly, depending on the temperature and the wind pattern, that waste gas can blow down from the roof vent. Um, you can smell it inside your house if one of your P-traps dries out. So go 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 pour water in your sinks. Um, in case people don't know, a P-trap is called that because it looks like a P? Yep, yep. Um, I mean, sometimes it is. Uh, sorry, guys, but I'm going to have to hop off. I will be back, hopefully momentarily. Uh, but I got to go. All righty, gentlemen. Oh, you're late. You are late. You're I'm late. Really you're late for a very important day. Me, on the other hand. Tell her we saved oh, right, sir, you oh, Enjoy, sir. Have fun. I'll see you all later. Oh, Bye. man. So somebody says, uh, <laughs> what is the difference between a septic guy and Superman? Superman smells better. Um, are you shorty than Oh, jeez. 
Uh, and Officer 401 says, what made you start a business instead of working for somebody? That was probably because I got fired from every single job that I ever had. Um, like, I have a seriously hard time working for other people. So, um, Just don't get fired next time. Yeah, pretty much, right? Um, uh, I don't even know how to say that name. Nymph says, what about flushable kitty litter? Don't do it. Um, what do you recommend for a first-year contractor? Value your time. Stop giving away the bank. Um, like, protect yourself. Uh, first-year contractor, raise your rates. Uh, do not be the cheapest guy. Be the most expensive guy. Garrett Water says, if you thought about doing porta potties, yes. And that is something that we're looking at, but we're just not ready to expand yet. But we definitely are looking at that. So, do I have to put gray water in septic tanks? Oh, are you on the TikTok stream too? I am now. Okay, so uh, guys, uh, <laughs> at least in my state, you have to put uh, gray water in the septic tank. It's illegal to do anything else. So, oh, yeah, I did one on TikTok. Yep. Uh, Cooter Cowboy. Okay. What do you think of starting a trailer rental company? Does he mean like residential trailers? I don't know. I have I've I've I have no idea. There's there's not enough information in that. Heather, why don't you come over here and you can sit off camera, but that way the mic can hear you a little bit better. Um but uh somebody wants to know what gray water is. So gray water is the water that comes from your sinks and your showers and everything else. Black water is what comes from your toilets. So, um, and then uh, Justin Hurley says, how do you get the rotten egg smell out of a well? And you use an aerator. Hello, Moonlight. Hello, Moonlight. Moonlight is almost making an appearance. Mm -hmm. There we go. She's short. Um, Jason Barr says, y'all got much snow. I live off the mountain in Hickory and we did not get any. We got like an inch or two. Yeah, we, didn't get we canceled work just because, you know, schools were out and it was inconvenient. Um, so Officer 401 says you should make a Discord channel. I have a Discord channel. I'm just in the process of getting it set up. So um, <laughs> Dodge This 007 says that he got fired from his last job when he had to call 911 on his boss. Do you work out at Flynn's gym? I do work out at Flynn's Gym. Didn't know if we were admitting that or not. Yeah, definitely. Definitely work out at Flynn's Gym. I actually take personal training from Flynn um, a lot. So, Becoming a bondsman in North Carolina, is it worth it? I am in Raleigh and sick of retail. No. Uh, definitely not worth it to become a bondsman at this point. Have you ever seen septic rental trailers? No. I don't know what a septic rental trailer is. Do you mean? Do they mean like the really fancy porta potties? I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I've seen the fancy porta potties at like events and stuff like that. Do you have any government contracts? Uh, the only government contract that we had, we didn't get paid for. Um, and it wasn't a contract; it was a one-off. Yeah, yeah, it was a one-off big service. And uh, let's just say that the army didn't pay us. Um, so there's that. And that bill was, that was a pretty substantial bill. And we were pretty new at the time. Like not getting paid for that kind of hurt. Um, Officer, one, Officer 401 says, uh, can I set it up? I can get it done in an hour. You know, um, I've got Rona giving me some help, but I'm, I'm, I'm open to help from, from, from anybody at this point. For your Discord? Yeah. You have folks tripping over themselves to assist you in the Discord. That's something that we need to get on your radar to sit down and figure out how you want permissions and who you want doing it. I mean, I am, I'm down to do that at, like, any moment. Um, Ronan has a super busy work schedule, <clears throat> and um, I know Jack Diddley about it, so... Um, there's that. Can you kill that light, please? And let's, let's see how this does. Oh yeah, that's perfectly fine. And I think it eliminated the flicker. So, uh, just keep in mind that Discord's slightly more complicated than setting up a MySpace page, but not too much. Okay. Uh, when are you going to go make your sword? Whenever I get in touch with him, I actually sent him a message and I didn't hear anything back. Yes, they're flushable porta potties with sinks and showers. So apparently, 
uh, septic trailers are flushable porta potties with sinks yes, and showers. I've seen them. That is I've awesome. I've never seen one with showers, but I've seen flushy porta potties. I would, I would definitely want that. Parf, parf so. has flushies. Uh, What's the, I, what? I want to switch from town sewer to septic. What would your suggestion be? You're, Good luck. They're, they're not going to let you. They're probably not going to let you switch from city sewer to septic. It's probably just not going to happen. So, um, in any event, for those of you that don't know, Taylor, who is here for the first half of this, um, and by the way, anybody that's on uh, TikTok, we're streaming on Twitch a little bit better, Twitch and YouTube. But Taylor... Whenever he started working here, he was actually a day laborer for a local labor company um, and was making like less than 10 bucks an hour. And in two and a half years has has, has worked himself uh, to a really good spot. And I am just super proud of everything that he has done. Um, Chad Day says, do you read any business books? If so, which ones do you recommend? Man. You have to read books all the time in business. Like, seriously, all the time. Um, Who Not How, Think and Grow Rich, uh, the uh, 47 Rules of Power, 48 Rules, 48 Rules of Power. What's up, Heather? Two things. I believe it's that same person. I'm paying $275 every three months for town sewer. I mean, you're probably stuck with it. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably stuck with it. I would, um, like if you're paying that much, I would bring a plumber in and have him do a leak check on your house and see if you have some 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 leak issues that you may need to resolve there. What should I look for in choosing first septic company for my first house with septic? Google reviews. Uh, you can call the county and ask them for a referral. They're not going to give you a referral to a crappy um, company. Some counties may not give you a referral. Uh, the other thing is, is appearance. Um, you know, if their truck pulls up and it looks like, you know, it's Methuselah's truck that was been at the second coming of the first septic tank, uh, probably not the best. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's somebody who's not putting back into their business. If they're not putting money back into their business with vehicles, they're probably not putting back into their business with training. They're probably not putting back into their business with knowledge. Um, so it is kind of like good advice. Like if the company appearance is good, they're, they're probably spending money in the places that they need to, too. Uh, Karen Baker just subscribed on Twitch. That's awesome. Thank you yeah. very much. Uh, Journey Tobija says, did you happen to get my email? Right now, I am 1,300 emails behind on social media. It is something that I'm working on fixing. But he I am get my email. Yeah, like I don't even get emails from Heather. So I'm working on fixing it, guys, but wow. Um uh I am I am I am overrun with emails. So uh one Willie says I am an inspiration. Dude, I really appreciate that. Uh, but the entire point of all of this is this is what I'm doing with no formal education in business. Um and this is, this is what I'm doing. So take this and go do something better. And the thing is, is whenever I hear people talk about how evil corporations are, remember that corporations are made of people. So it's not a corporation being evil. It's people being evil. And the only way that you're going to beat people being evil is to go start a business yourself and do it the right way. And so when people down talk businesses... When people down talk corporations, the only acceptable response that I have for them is great. Go do a better job. If, if, if you think they're that bad at it, you go do better. So uh, Redbird102 says, how much is a septic pump out in your area? It's, it, it used to be 250 whenever we started in the business and now it's closer to between three and 350. Um, you want to cover what some of those costs are? So whenever you pump a, a septic tank, the waste has to go somewhere. And in our case, the dump fee is about 45 to $50. Then you've got the diesel to get there. Trucks that haul that waste guzzle the diesel. So you're looking at you know $20 to $50 in diesel. Um, you've got to power the pump. You've got to pay your employee. Insurance on our pump trucks, $28,000 a year. 
$28,000 in insurance so that that truck can get on the road. And if, you, and if it's somewhere further out, yeah. dumping it becomes a thing. Yep. So it is It is very, very expensive. Um, Ronan GT is in the... Uh, is in the Twitch live. Guys, Ronan hi. GT, hi. Heather says hi. Um, Ronan GT, please go follow him on uh, TikTok, okay. YouTube, Twitch. Uh, super great guy, super knowledgeable about um, Discord and all things social media. And he has great stories and he's better at playing games than I am. So uh, please go follow him. Uh, I believe that there's a little bit of a race to try to get his YouTube up as well. So, um, how knowledgeable is he on dry watermelon? Hey, Ronan GT, here is the call out. How knowledgeable are you on dry watermelon? That's a question from Charles. He'd like to know. Now, Ronan did post a video that said he was going to do a live tonight where he ate the watermelon until he threw up. That's what I heard. Until he threw up on live. My heart is a pitter patter. I I'm wanting to see. I I I I, I, I want to see this. So uh, whatever this thing is, we're Twitch. using TikTok. Yeah. So thing. now now Ronan says he's about to be eating it at 8 p.m. Ronan, it is 8:12 p.m., sir. You are 12 minutes behind on this watermelon. Unless you're going to try to use some sort of excuse like time zones, which I mean we know those don't really exist. So the guy trying to get on. Off City Sewer says, I had leak checks done. They just keep raising bills. Wow, that sucks. Is that, and is that just sewer or is that sewer and water? Uh, to the person who's commenting about the 120 miles an hour in the pump truck uh, not helping the insurance, we have zero tickets on our drivers. Our drivers have perfectly clean records. And just like in that video, he didn't get caught. Uh, the guy says, Boat, my town has septic tanks and sewer. My neighbors on both sides have septic. Then you might be able to do it. You might be able to are there, uh, the get that done. Is, the other thing is, is their house, are their houses older? Yep. They may be grandfathered in. If your house is newer, yep. they put you on sep sewer. Once you're on sewer, a lot of places don't want, let, don't want you to go back. So, um, Guys, uh, Ronan GT, definitely a good follow. Definitely subscribe to him. Listen, um, a lot of people on social media have goals that they want social media to be their job. Um, a lot of us like interacting with you guys. I'm working towards that as well. Obviously, owning a company, I'm always going to work in the company. But a lot of us are trying to you know, give content to you guys on a reliable, you know, consistent basis and subscribing, uh, is, is vital to that. So, um, I made a TikTok yesterday. definitely support Ronan, um, in that, um, fellow small business owner here. Love your videos. Keep on coming, brother. I really appreciate it. Um, how much do you do with water wells? We do a lot with water wells, mostly, uh, the above ground stuff. And this is something that I'll put out there to you guys. There's 184 of you in Twitch and YouTube, and there's 335 of you on TikTok. I am looking to go to work for another well company in another part of the state for a week. I want to guest work for another well company and um, go to work for them and learn how to pull pumps. Because listen, I'm not a pump guy. Uh, like like pumps in drinking water wells. I am a septic guy and a and and a and a well inspection guy. I do inspections, pressure systems, repairs, casing, seals, valves, all that stuff. But I want to learn about pulling pumps, and I don't want to use a local company because I don't want to put them in the position of having to train a guy that's now going to compete against them. That that just seems like a dick move. So. I want to go out of state or to the other side of North Carolina and work for a week with a well company and really learn how to do that right. So if any of you guys know a well company or somebody follows me or whatnot, send me an email. I would be super interested in that. So My neighbor throws his dog waste in his septic. Is that okay? So yeah, you should never put uh, cat waste in your septic. Dog waste is not so bad, but cat waste... Is uh you told me not to put dog waste in ours either. Yeah, dog dog waste is not as bad as cat waste, but 
Uh, Renovate69420 says, I'm in South Dakota Law School right now. The students and admins here are the biggest scum I've ever met in my 28 year life. Be careful, everyone. Guys, this whole thing started as who not to work for. And what I've learned in decades of being in business is I always regret working for lawyers. Taylor, what's up, sir? What? Someone says, do you always wear black? Yes. Every day, all day. Not every day. He has that one olive green. green. Are you back, sir? I am back, sir. What no, about your he's girlfriend? Not back. He's not back. You're imagining him. Well, no. <laughs> like I thought you had a girlfriend to. She's here getting food. Oh, okay. All right. Scoot. Which 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 way do we have to scoot, sir? Okay. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. It's too tight. <laughs> There's not enough screens. Can we see the glitter shovel? It is upstairs in my bedroom. I will try to remember to bring it down for the stream tomorrow. I'll try and remind him. I'll yes. make no promises. Um, I Healy says, ever consider water well drilling? I, I mean, yes, but I, there's there's not a lot of money in it out here. There's there's just really not. There's too many drillers, not enough construction, and those rigs are a million dollars plus. So. Uh, let's see. Uh, Officer Four One says, "So, uh, so do, so do you or your guys just hang out at the business all day, every day?" Well, today was a snow day, pretty much, and we've got an Xbox in there. We do, which I mean, everybody can. It's got a lot of games on oh, yeah. it, doesn't it? So, I mean, and we made dinner. So, I mean, you were here mostly for the food, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was it was it was a snow day, so yeah. Just so y'all know, this is Arizona tea that I'm drinking. Okay, so uh, stem cut the spike hogs says two men on a camera. They may kiss. That's not actually gonna happen. No. no. <laughs> oh. Come on, buddy. Oh, let me let me cover up the camera. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, which house are you in? Wife one or wife two? We're in the office right now. Yeah. So, any recommendations for a new business owner? That was the whole, that's how this whole TikTok got started was don't, don't work, work for lawyers. For lawyers. Or family friends. Or family friends. Yeah. Or, or people that think they know what they're doing. Yeah. Like best, best, best advice. Uh, Duckman says, can I work for you? And the answer is. Apply. Apply. Like you have to go through the process. Uh, Dodge this 007 says I've forgotten what a snow day is. We don't stop working because of snow. Listen, I'm not gonna put a uh, hundred thousand dollar pump trucks on the road. Hello. Um, sorry. Uh, his girlfriend has joined us at the table. She is now eating. But I'm 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 not gonna put a hundred thousand dollar pump trucks on the road. Um, We're also not gonna put our guys on the road, and it was very yeah, no. very cold. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the guys will most likely not be on the road tomorrow either. Yeah. Because unfortunately, for those of the, the states that don't experience a whole lot of snow, once this, it's cool that the snow stays for a day and melts. The downside is that it freezes again tonight. And, and turns to ice. And turns to ice yeah. and stays that way till about noon. Uh, so Mudslinger TV says, you still in touch with uh, DC? If so, is he doing well? Um, no, we're not, yeah. no, he, no, I haven't heard from him. yeah, I mean, I, I got like a text message. Um, uh, so, uh, how do I get into running heavy equipment after high school? Ooh. That's, that's a tough one guys, because, uh, yeah, uh, that really, you got to find a company that does that's that. It's going to trust you. Yeah. You got to find a company that trusts you. And a company that does that in-house because there are some companies that will have you get like an operator's certification. Yep. So you got to just find a company that's willing to train you on running a piece of equipment, essentially, basically. Yeah. And, you know, listen, it, it's, it's never a bad thing if the company doesn't, you know, trust you right away. Remember, that's a lot of heavy equipment. Oh, yeah. So... Um, you can really, really screw some things up. Uh, Jorman I, Gunderber is now follow. I can't even say that. Jorman Gander. Jorman Gander. Uh, uh, thank you very much for the follow on Twitch. Officer 401 says, what is, what application process like for your company? Oh man, that is, yeah. that is kind of in depth. First, yeah. you have to come and interview with me. 
Okay. Well, the first thing you need to do is send in a resume on an email. Yeah. Yes. You send an email to hiring at wncil.com. And you include important things like what position are you applying for? Yes. And relevant experience. Please don't just send us an email being, I like James on TikTok. I would like to work for him. Yeah, that that that, that, yeah. that does not work. It will be thrown away. But um, Need actual resumes, guys. Yep. Yeah, and then you come in and you do Anyone. an interview. Yep, coming through. And then you got to interview past me, Taylor, and Chad. Yep. And the okay. Heathers. And, and the then Heathers. you got to interview with the Heathers. Um, and then you go out for a test day. Yep. Okay, where where we make sure that you know the first time we crack open a septic tank that you don't barf your brains out, and then you got to demonstrate like actual skills tests. Like, do you know how to work a shovel, guys? Working a shovel is a skill. Okay, oh, absolutely. Digging is a skill. You have to be practiced at it. Um, I do not have this skill. Yes. So <laughs> that, that was my only certification when I started. Pretty much. Um, in any <laughs> event. Um, <laughs> And then once you once you pass your field day, um, then you'll get either a job offer or a sorry, we're going to pass on you. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, uh, you have to spend 90 days on probation, and you're going to work in each of the three divisions of the company, 30 days each, so that you can work any job. Yep. And then you get put in your final job. So it is probably about a hundred day process. Yeah. Before easily. you are hired and off of probation. So, um, also the meetings we have to have on where you should be and if you actually have a spot here. Yeah. And also, you're not allowed to even talk to customers for probably three to six months. Easily. At least. Yeah. Like, like, seriously, listen, if I show up at a job site and the new guy is running his mouth to a customer, go, go get in the truck. It better yeah. be about the weather. Yeah. At most. Yeah, you better be saying something like the dog is cute, okay? Because you do not get to comment on a septic tank until you know what's up. Ronin GT just went live. Also, hey. also on the applying, if you're not where, if you're, you cannot pass a drug test and you are not willing to wear a uniform. Don't apply. Yeah, don't apply. For those of you who could not hear Heather, if you cannot show up to work with the uniform that you are given... Yeah. In uniform every single day. And if you can't pass a drug test, then don't even worry about it because that ain't going to work. So um, I don't know they're talking about battle him. Um, battle him, huh? Uh, battle. Uh, maybe Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to keep trying to keep out on TikTok comments, guys. That was my bad. Uh, but um, Justin Hurley, 123007, says, Can a leech field freeze? Yes. 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 Depending on depth. Yeah. Some of these things are, you know, after erosion has happened, they're only 12 inches under the ground. And damn it if those things don't freeze. So, well, listen, guys, I am going to jump off of here and actually go watch. Um, yeah, they're saying battle Ronan. Like, see if you can get more people in him, probably. No, I don't want to battle Ronan. Um, now, to have Somebody says, can we just use the scoop daddy? No, because you're not allowed to operate it. Now here is the funny thing. I don't know how to um, I don't know how to raid Ronan. So uh, can you holler for Charles? Yeah. No, he just left. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. damn. Okay. Well. What do you need to know? Oh, slash raid. Is that what we do? Just slash raid. Sounds good. Try. It. Slash what raid. And then channel. Um, Ronan GT. Is that it? So, slash raid Ronan GT. Oh, so it's slash raid. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, we 44, are. 55 viewers are ready to raid Ronan. That's funny. Okay. That's funny. Let's go watch Ronan raid now. Raid. I want to watch watermelons. Try watermelons. Does this not sound like regular reality? For those of you on TikTok, we're raiding drone. It sounds like Legos. That's the watermelon. Y'all get the 
Chat froze on my end for some reason. 